Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's time, it's here, it's official. We're doing a tour of Atlantis. I am officially done my whole island. I cannot fit anything else on here unless I want it to be full of garbage. <laughs> or, you know, I don't wanna walk around anymore and I like walking around, so. Anyway, I've officially finished all my builds on Atlantis. So it is time for the official tour of Atlantis 2.0. So I thought it'd be fitting to start in my home. I don't think you guys have ever actually seen inside my home because it's been kind of a mess this whole time, to be honest. So um, I thought we'd start in my house. Okay, welcome. Welcome to my home. This is my um, living area slash uh, music area because obviously I need a music area. I got the gyroids singing their own song up there. Yeah, I got a place to watch TV and play my uh, Switch. Of course, there has to be snacks here. And I got a place for you to take off your coat and have a bench to help you put on and take off your shoes. Yeah, it's cute, ain't it? I like it. Office! I got my own vending machine because, you know, caffeine is essential uh, for when you're doing hardcore Animal Crossing videos like this one. <laughs> Got my gaming desk. I got my books all here because I like books. I got a little seating area for when I want to chill or not be on my computer with my ramen. Very, very good, uh, very good work environment here. Welcome to my luxurious bathroom. I got a little sun over here. If you don't want to take a bath, we have a shower. And then, of course, we need to wash our hands and have somewhere to go pee-pee. Yes. It was very quick. It was very quick. I'm a quick peer. There you go. Bathroom. Off to... Oh, she's running away. Off to the right. Kitchen. Where I do all the cooking. All the cooking in the whole world. It's cute, right? It's a little baby kitchen, but it's got its own room, so I think that counts. And once again, these uh, pillars slash counters are amazing. I love them. Got a fully stocked kitchen here with all the essentials ready for any earthquake or natural disaster. We got a menu board up there. If you can't decide what you want, you can just look up there and be like, oh, I guess I'll try the cappuccino today. I also have all my villager uh, pictures displayed up top there. There you go. Now you can see them. These are all the villagers that I've liked and that have been on my island. I have been collecting them for a while now. Pretty proud. It's a big collection. Kitchen! Ta-da! Now we will go upstairs or downstairs first. Um, let's go upstairs first. Here we go. Welcome to the Mermaid Sanctuary. This is my mermaid themed bedroom. And of course, more gyroids up there, because why not? So everything mermaid is in here, slash pink, <laughs> or pastel -y. And guess what? I have my own walk-in closet! Isn't this cool? I love this. I just think this is awesome. This is like every girl's dream right here. Also, thanks to Happy Home Academy for walls and pillars. Really adds to the room. I got my own little dress and makeup area over here. I got my desk where I can uh, do some uh, filming or makeup with some cookies in a mini fridge because that's a must. And then obviously somewhere too steep because steep is important. No, I will not sleep. I'll just lie down for now. Okay, nap time's over. Gotta continue with the tour. You've got the con, sir. It's my Star Trek um, control room. What's it called? Trekkies? Tell me what this room is called. I cannot remember. But it's... Isn't this cool? I love this. This is just... Blowing my mind. Oh, we got a superstar in the... the science pod over there. We got some lab experiments. We got some gadgets for the people helping the captain. In order to fly the ship. The Enterprise needs assistance. Isn't this cool? 
I love it. It's awesome. There you go. Well, anyway, that's my house. Now you know what the inside looks like when it's not a mess. Anyway, we will continue with the tour now. Starting in my yard. I have a little uh, workbench over here and a outdoor barbecue for all my cooking and crafting needs. This pipe goes to uh, the Nook's Cranny, but we will save that for later in the tour. Welcome to my rose garden. I have this little hedge maze going on here with all these beautiful roses and of course some more gyroids because they need to be displayed because they're cute and fun. Yeah, so I got a big extravagant yard because I thought I'm the one doing all the work on this island. I deserve it. <laughs> so I made myself a little uh, rose garden area. We'll go down here through the entrance. More roses. We have a, um, a glass bridge here looking to waterfalls from each side. I like this. This is a cute little area. Now over here. Ooh. Ooh. I like this part. Okay. Ready? I'll open my maps for you here. If you look in the bottom corner there where my dot is covering the first letter, it spells Atlantis. That's right. I made a flower path using the letters of my island. Isn't that cool? A T A L A N T I S. What's that spell? Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, I'm a loser. What's that spell? Atlantis. Woo! Yeah, anyway, that's my flower path. Pretty cool. I know. Fun fact the pansy was my um, island flower. That's why I chose these flowers, because it was native to my island. Fun fact, and we'll go up. I'm going to catch this butterfly. Excuse me. There we go. I like catching the pretty butterflies. Anyway, continuing on. Over here, I got this cute little fishing area in this little, what's this called? Peninsula? I think that's what this is called. This little area that sticks out over the river. I got a little fishing area. Yeah, because I do lots of fishing. <laughs> No, I just had a lot of fishing stuff and I didn't know what else to put there. Y'all have seen this. It's my tiki bar. Compliments of uh, me. Because <laughs> I do all the work around here. You can get your fruity drinks. Enjoy some time by the ocean. Get some food while you're here. Um, it is currently run by uh, Seth Labot, who is not home at the moment. It used to be run by Julian, but he asked to go and I said he could go. My tiki bar, got a little seating area with a giant bonfire, which will burn your eyebrows off. And a little gaming area and relaxing and such. My dock, nothing too special. How's it going, Cap'n? Haven't been for a ride in a while. Maybe we should do that in the near future. Down here, I made a little, I keep wanting to say pineapple. It's not pineapple. Coconut. I made a little coconut palm tree walking alley, which I think is super cute. And it's really nice at night with all these lights and stuff. So we got a little seating area over here. It's kind of hidden, but you get the idea. And it continues over here. Got some uh, sea creatures along the way as well. Ah, cute, eh? Uh, I got my own little personal swimming pool over here and changing area because, like I said, I deserved it with all the work I put into this island. We got some boats parked here for anyone who wants to go boating. A little seating area by the lighthouse. And then we got my outdoor movie theater. So I know you, you buy your ticket. You buy your ticket, yep. Yeah. Thank you for the change. And then you buy your popcorn, yum, yum, yum. Or we got cotton candy over here. And then you just sit down and enjoy the movie. Oh, and if you want extra snacks, we got vending machines over here. Of course, but... Popcorn is a staple for a movie theater. That is my East Bay, East Beach, East Beach. I can speak English too. Woo! Anyway, moving right along here, past the flower walkway. Do not run, or you will ruin the flowers. Jeez! Campsite area, where campers come to camp. Obviously. Got a little seating area here. Enjoy the campfire. We got a picnic area over here. We got some extra camp spots here for anyone else who wants to go camping. Oh, and Texas enjoying the riverside. 
We've got a little play area for the children because the children need to be entertained. And then over here up to the right, we got my entrance to my Disneyland, my latest build. You can see I redid the entrance a little bit because I, I didn't like it before. I think it's much nicer now. Yeah, so you cross this bridge here. We got a little uh, seating dining area for those who want to sit and rest their haunches while they're enjoying the excitement that is Disneyland. And then over here's the entrance and then here it is. Oh, this is honestly my favorite thing on the whole island, especially my castle. I built a freaking castle, guys. It's so amazing. Look at it. Isn't it glorious? I love it. It's good. So, rides, obviously. Need that Disneyland. Balloons. Who doesn't want balloons? And then we got some, I got more rides over here. And then we got some carnival games you can try out. Got one. Boom. Carnival games, claw games, even though you can't see them. They are there, I promise more arcade games and then ice cream of course you need some an ice cream stand when you're at disneyland and over here since this path is leading this way and follow the coins to the secret path and we got my secret beach my little pirate cove here and i thought it was fitting because red's got a kind of janky boat that likes to park here and i'd be like yeah this is where he keeps all the good stuff or you know all the fake stuff that he tries to sell you for full price which is not cool, Red. Not cool. Moving right along up these stairs. We got in my very first build you probably saw on my YouTube channel is Tanging Apples Diner slash Candy Shop. Not much has changed on the tangy side as um, it was perfect to begin with. <laughs> but I had to move where the incline was so Apples uh, Candy Shop got a bit of an expansion. We got a little seating area here. And some extra desserts and slushy that you can purchase but everything else has remained the same to buy all of your candies and sweets Ooh, since apple is home i ended up redoing her house because it was a hot mess <laughs> so i will show you the inside of apple's house here here it is here's apple's house i kind of kept the same vibes that she had before oh she's dusting good for you apple pink and flowery and appley of course and had to add some messy items in here because you know she ain't got time to do the dishes yeah i felt like this came out really nicely very cute moving right along up here we got another picnic area slash stargazing area i thought this was the perfect lookout point where you can go and look at the stars at night of course it's a cute little picnic area that uh, i like a lot over here I got my mini city going on. It's called Force Perspective, if you wanted to know the technical term. And uh, because it's further down the hill, it looks like a tiny city. And I thought that was cool. So another lookout interest point there. And then another build you guys have seen is my art studio. Again, not much has changed, but this is an official tour. So we're covering everything. Still cute and I still like it. Boing. Over here, we got a little green alley walkway in between these cliffs. I wanted to do something over here. So I got a bunch of plants and trees that you can do a little nature walk through here. Of course, the dog park, because we have to have doggies on our little. Yeah, you're so cute, you little puppy. I love you so much. Dog park and essential service. Here, before I move on, I, got, I made a little picnic area here. Someone parked their bike here because they didn't have room in their house. And then another little cute seating area here. Super cute. Up here, my outdoor theater. You go get your tickets and your coffee and your snacks. And then you go enjoy some uh, classical theater or musical theater or whatever you want because there's no limits here on Atlantis. And then my pet shop. Oh, I love my pet shop. It's so cute. I love it. You can be a little hamster or some birdies. Or if you really want an ant farm, if you're weird like that. But we also got fishies. And then you can adopt this dog over here. His name's Rufus. He's looking for a good home. If you want to give Rufus a good home, please call the number down below. He's really friendly and he just wants someone to love him. An employee of the month has been Tipper for a while. Mainly because Tipper gave me an extra photo and that's why I was there. It was Apple and then it was Tangy and now it's Tipper. And you know what? She deserves it. Way to work hard at the pet shop tipper 
up here residential area not too exciting over here but you know i have to put their houses somewhere so i may let some seating areas uh, and some leaves to run through because that's fun following down here past the protectors of atlantis uh, otherwise known as godzilla and uh, this transformer what's his name optimus prime except he's red he's in disguise he's in double disguise anyway thank you for protecting atlantis well this is new I have a little um, greenhouse area back here. I want to do something on these rocks. Um, and I know you can't see it too well when you have the regular view up, but I thought it was cute. So I made a little green area over here. To my left, I got my orchard over here. I got my little um, bee farm here. It's currently being run by Wolfgang, who was an auto fill, and I did not choose him, but he's here anyway. <laughs> and then of course, we have my rainbow garden. The pride and joy of Atlantis. It's beautiful and I love it. Also got my uh, farm here with my produce and stuff. Going up down to the right here. Get this little walkway. And over here to the right. Oh, don't get crushed by that. I got my Mario themed arcade. I wanted something that was looking quite plain in between these cliffs again. So I made an arcade. And I think it's really cool. I like it. Let's see if I can get... I've gotten triple red on this before. Let's see if I can do it again. <gasps> I did it again! That's the third time, guys! Screenshot, screenshot for proof. Boom. You're witnessing this, right? This is amazing. I can never do this. If you go over here, then we hop across. We are in Disneyland over here. But we will go back through this to continue the tour. Okay, down this path here. I got a lot of fossils. Jeez. Got a little seating area that is... um kind of museum themed as the museum is up there but to the right here is my boba shop y'all remember in summer during the fireworks that red used to have that little sand that you could buy um different treats and stuff through well he sold the boba tea and i'm like i'm gonna build a boba shop because it's fun and pastel -y and cute so there you go boba shop not that i actually drink boba but it's on my island so i guess my my villager drinks it outdoor library y'all have seen this a couple times where you go to study and read. I like studying and reading. And I thought it was uh, fitting to put it right beside the museum where we got our T-Rex fossils standing out here. You can read about it on this tablet over here. Super cute, little cute little museum area. Down here. Oh guys, this is my entrance. It's bamboo slash kind of, I don't know, Chinese. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, it's a bamboo sort of theme. Yeah, it's a cute little walkway to enter you into Atlantis here. And right at the entrance, we got some parking for your scooter and some, and a gas station for if you need to fill up your scooter. I don't know why you're putting gas in your scooter because it doesn't take gas, but you know, whatever. Down here, we have my post office where you pick up your mail. As you see, I have not done that yet. And then of course, this is a Canadian island. So there is a Tim Hortons. This is probably my favorite little spot in my island. I love it so much because ice caps are essential. Tim Hortons is an essential service. Which reminds me, I haven't gotten my coffee today and I will definitely be doing that later. Little seating area here for the beach. We got a, a street piano for all the street performers you want to perform. We have a little play area and an ice cream stand for the beach. Because, of course, when you go to the beach, you need to get some ice cream. And then I got my beach area. People go to relax and enjoy the sunshine. Over here, this is new. You probably guys haven't seen this yet. I made a little surf shop. Isn't this cute? You can buy all your swimsuits and water shoes. We got some tropical uh, wear here and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, beach area. Come chill, hang out. And then here, you guys have kind of seen this. I have my record shop. There's so many cool records. I'm like, I want to do something with this. So I made a record shop. It's cute, eh? It continues over here. And then, of course, my little lounge area because my grand piano needed a spot to be in. We'll go down here first. Uh, because of all the cooking that I've been doing because I think it's cute and good decorations, I made a little bake shop. So you can get your fresh pie. Um, a Yuletide log, which is out of season, but it's still delicious. Some breads of various kinds, some cupcakes, some vegetables, 
all the good stuff. Yeah, and this is kind of continuing from, from my plaza area. Over to the right here, got my Able Sisters. There is a sale on clothes at the moment. It's 50% off these clothes right here, so make sure to get your shopping in. Another little record area here. This was the first one I had on my island, but I'm like, it needs to be bigger. So therefore, I mean a record shop on the beach. Got a cute little record area here. Over here I have my church slash chapel area where the villagers come on Sunday and listen to the sermon and sing, sing songs for the Jesus. Got a little seating area for the potluck that comes after church. Yes, very nice. I like this area. Nook's Cranny. Of course, you guys have seen this one. I got my little yard sale-like thing going on out here. The, these are discounted items. Timmy and Tommy both came to work today. That's good to know. They parked their scooters here. And then they fill up their gas here when they need to for convenience. And then we have a little ATM here for anyone who wants to take out money for uh, their shopping needs. And here's that pipe I told you about that leads to my house. Back here, I've got a little storage area. A lot of the times I like to keep my turnips back here so that they're not in the way and that it, my island still looks cute because we've got to keep that cute appeal, you know? So I got a little storage area back here. Ooh, bonus points. Leave it in the comments down below if you know who this character is. He's from one of my favorite video games. I'll give you a hint. He's from Undertale. Um, but that's all I'm going to tell you. Okay. Leave in the comments down below. You know who this character is. You're going to be my new best friend. And last stop on my island tour. This is new that you guys have not seen. It's my gyroid beach. Now first, I had just made them playing volleyball over here. Because I thought that would be cute to just watch them play volleyball. So they're going at it. But then I'm like, why don't I just make this whole beach into a gyro beach? So that's what I did. So we got some building sand castles and blowing bubbles up the slide here. And then they're playing soccer over here. This is just this is just for gyroids. The villagers are not allowed to come over here. So the gyroids feel at home here. And that is my island. There you go. You have now seen all of Atlantis. 2.0. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now you're asking, what next? Well, I've kind of decided that I want to just restart everything. And by restart, I mean completely destroy everything. Kind of, I've already flattened down this island, as you guys know. Um, so I decided that I'm just gonna reset the whole game so I can start from scratch, choose a different format for my island, and can decorate it all over again. I haven't decided I'm gonna document that or not but i've figured since i've been showing you guys my builds on this island that i would do an official official tour of everything that i got going on wow they really they've got the zoomies today they love those sticks don't they <laughs> keep switching me out of the way wolfgang it's not nice to push i don't appreciate it oh no that, judy that's not nice you shouldn't just because he's doing it doesn't mean you should Ah, they never listen to me. Anyway, thanks for you guys for watching. I hope you like the official tour of Atalantis 2.0. Uh, leave a comment down below what is your favorite part of my island. And I'll see you next time. Bye!